December 10th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Proverbs chapter 8 and 9 from the Old Testament. Does not wisdom call out? Does not understanding raise her voice? At the top of the elevated places along the way, at the intersection of the pass, she takes her stand. Beside the gates opening into the city at the entrance of the doorways, she cries out. To you, O people, I call out, and my voice calls to all mankind. You who are naive discern wisdom, and you fools understand discernment. Listen, for I will speak excellent things, and my lips will utter what is right. For my mouth speaks truth, and my lips hate wickedness. All the words of my mouth are righteous. There is nothing in them twisted or crooked. All of them are clear to the discerning and upright to those who find knowledge. Receive my instruction rather than silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and desirable things cannot be compared to her. I, wisdom, live with prudence, and I find knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. I hate arrogant pride in the evil way and perverse utterances. Counsel and sound wisdom belong to me. I possess understanding and might. Kings reign by means of me, and potentates decree righteousness. By me, princes rule, as well as nobles and all righteous judges. I love those who love me, and those who seek me find me. Riches and honor are with me, long-lasting wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better than the purest gold, and what I produce is better than choice silver. I walk in the path of righteousness, in the pathway of justice that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth, and that I may fill their treasuries. The Lord created me as the beginning of his works, before his deeds of long ago. From eternity I was appointed from the beginning, from before the world existed. When there was no deep oceans, I was born. When there were no springs overflowing with water, before the mountains were set in place, before the hills, I was born. Before he made the earth and its fields or the beginning of the dust in the world, when he established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the horizon over the face of the deep, when he established the clouds above, when the fountains of the deep grew strong, when he gave the sea his decree that the waters should not pass over his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him as a master craftsman, and I was his delight day by day rejoicing before him at all times, rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth and delighting in its people. So now, children, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Listen to my instruction so that you may be wise and do not neglect it. Blessed is the one who listens to me, watching at my doors day by day, waiting beside my doorway. For the one who finds me finds life and receives favor from the Lord. But the one who does not find me brings harm to himself. All who hate me love death. Wisdom has built her house. She has carved out its seven pillars. She has prepared her meat. She has mixed her wine. She also has arranged her table. She has sent out her female servant. She calls out on the highest places of the city. Whoever is naive, let him turn in here, she says to those who lack understanding. Come, eat some of my food, and drink some of the wine I have mixed. Abandon your foolish ways so that you may live, and proceed in the way of understanding. Whoever corrects a mocker is asking for insult. Whoever reproves a wicked person receives abuse. Do not reprove a mocker, or he will hate you. Reprove a wise person, and he will love you. Give instruction to a wise person, and he will become wiser still. Teach a righteous person, and he will add to his learning. The beginning of wisdom is to fear the Lord, and acknowledging the Holy One is understanding. For because of me your days will be many, and years will be added to your life. If you are wise, you are wise to your own advantage. But if you are a mocker, you alone must bear it. The woman called Folly is brash. She is naive and does not know anything. So she sits at the door of her house on a seat at the highest point of the city, calling out to those who are passing by her in the way, who go straight on their way. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. 
she says to those who lack understanding. Stolen waters are sweet and food obtained in secret is pleasant. But they do not realize that the dead are there, that her guests are in the depths of the grave. God, the other day I was talking to a friend of mine and um, there was something that she was doing that causes people to, I'm just going to say not listen to her. Um, for, the, for the most part, she's fabulous, but there's this kind of one area that's maybe like a thorn <laughs> area. And I realized that, that even though I'm a really good friend of hers, that I have chosen, intentionally chosen not to say anything uh, because her reaction anytime I get even close to this subject is very abrasive and I know if I actually got to the heart of the issue uh, and had a conversation with her with that I may not even have a friend at the end of it but again we kind of go back to how much do you love that person and, and are you willing to help them even at the cost of losing their friendship and so I continue to pray to you about you know how do I talk to her about this but in our conversation, part of what has come up is how do I react to things? Are there things about me that people want to tell me that I need to work on? You know, we all have those things that we don't see, but everybody else sees. Um, do I have things that I need to work on that people won't approach me about because they're worried that I'm going to be antagonistic and abrasive about it? And it's really helped me to look at my heart, you know, kind of like what it's talking about in Proverbs 9 of do not reprove a mocker or, like, or he will hate you and reprove a wise person and they will love you. Give instructions to a wise person and they will become wiser. A teacher, righteous, righteous person and he will add to his learning. Um, one of my pastors actually taught me a lot about this to constantly ask people, uh, like when he's done with a sermon, what did you think? What were the good things? What were the things I can work on? And he really takes those to heart. Instead of taking it personally, he knows that if he continues to work on all of the amazing things that you made him to be God, uh, that he'll be better for you. He'll be able to glorify you and, and help your kingdom. But if he makes it personal, if he's right at all costs about certain things, uh, then he can't grow. God, I just ask that you help me with that. Uh, the next time somebody is talking to me, if I feel even a little bit bristly about something like a topic that's getting too close, really allow me to look at my attitude and, and adjust it immediately so that that person feels comfortable talking to me. Also, strengthen me this week to go out and tell some of my uh, close friends, look, I, I want you to always be honest with me. I want you to always tell me what you're thinking, uh, no matter what. And if there's stuff going on right now, can we just talk about this right now? And I, I promise I won't be obnoxious about it. I just truly want to know if there's things I need to work on that I'm not seeing. God, I know that people like that are sent into my life by you uh, to help with that pruning process that all of us need and all of us go through. Uh, I just want to welcome them just like I would welcome any sort of discipline from you with joy and thanksgiving that you are, that you are working on helping me be a better person. God, I also want my wisdom and my righteousness to grow and add to my learning I don't want anything holding me back, uh, especially those things that I can't see, that I'm blind to. I just want to be the best of all of the pieces that you made me to be. Thank you, God, for that and for allowing uh, my heart to be humble when I hear those things and for working on it for the future. I pray all this in your son's name. Amen.